Hey friends, welcome to my channel Garden Wood. So today I wanted to uh, talk about perennial flowering plants that last for years and years in our garden. And uh, so the best flowering plant for uh, summer season is hibiscus. And this is my desi rose. Uh, this is not a hybrid rose and it flowers almost for the full year and can you see the buds <laughs> yeah so in every branch i am having at least five to six buds from my hibiscus and uh, so today I'll be talking about uh, fertilizer, what fertilizer I use in my flowering plants, in my perennial flowering plants. So let's start. Okay, so first I will take some uh, cow dung cakes. So I can show you here. This you can get it from Pooja Bhandar or from any local uh, shop. I take this cow dung cakes. These are not fresh. These are uh, almost a year back I had bought. So I'll take this. So make sure that your cow dung, uh, if you are using uh, cow dung uh, cakes, then those are not fresh. These are old enough that these are composted, already composted, so that your plant doesn't get burns. Okay. This, this is my cow dung compost made. <laughs> These are easily available in India, so I don't think so. We have to purchase from any uh, fertilizer shop or any plant shop, it's easily available and we can get it. Uh, just we have to make sure that these, uh, these uh, cakes are old enough and so that we can use in our garden so here i have taken cow dung next uh, ingredient next thing what i'll take is a vermi compost so this is a vermi compost okay so next thing is vermi compost i'm using it should be enough because I generally give in every two to three months to my plants so it's enough and again next important thing is this is neem powder uh, or you can say neem khali so just to avoid uh, pests in the soil and uh, to avoid ants pests also to give little bit of uh, nutrients it is also nutrient for plants so i use neem khali powder so you can see how much i had used uh, please don't take neem khali powder too much because uh, again it burns your uh, it can burn your plant so I'm using just one spoon for this whole mixture. Uh, next thing I'll be using is this rock phosphate. So this is the uh, most important thing for I think uh, flowering plants because this is a natural phosphate which I am giving to my plant and uh, it as you can see uh, organic product for gardening stimulates root production and flowering so yes it's a, a very important ingredient I always add 
to all my summer flowering plants not only summer flowering plants it's important for all your plants or all your flowering plants and fruiting plants so i'll take two spoons of phosphate rock phosphate so here is my mixture So this fertilizer you can give to all your flowering uh, or uh, fruiting plants like vegetables and fruits and just see the magic <laughs> your plant will appreciate and reward you with all uh, buds and fruits and flowers. So before I put fertilizer I'll just you know uh, pull the top soil like this so this mixture I'm also giving to my seasonal flowering plants but this mixture I am not giving to all my house plants. So for my house plants, I uh, remove this phosphate and I give vermicompost, sometimes cow dung as well. Uh, many of my friends uh, they ask me that uh, how to repel insects from soil so I think I uh, don't do much and I don't find much insect problem in my soil uh, maybe because I use turmeric powder as well as uh, this neem khali powder regularly every two to three months so maybe that may be the reason so you can also try and get the result so this is done and look at my beautiful rose flower <laughs> also uh, remove all the grasses uh, from the uh, plant and from the pot and I'll just pull some soil like this and I can add this in summer I water my all outdoor plants almost daily maybe sometimes uh, twice a day when it's too much hot and otherwise daily once it's done Uh, the petals of the uh, desi roses you can use for making your own uh, uh, rose tea or maybe you can also use it for your bathing uh, tub or uh, essential oil so that's the beauty of you know having desi roses these are fragrant as well and this is my desi hibiscus Hope you enjoy my video. Thank you so much and have a great day. Have a great weekend. Thank you.